We're going to make our own concrete and you're probably thinking what the heck do you not know about concrete ready mix. Real builders don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> no, I'm not a real builder. <laughs> I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand. I'm not a real builder. <laughs> and, and I still have a mountain of landscaping. We just pulled up to the section nobody wanted. Uh, remember last year I did this video here? Can we put a video here? <laughs> And uh, I talked about the mountain of landscaping that I have to do. Well, guess what? I still have a mountain of landscaping to do. Ethan's been here this week helping me out. We're just going to quickly dig a couple of holes. So this is going to be the back door area, back door is just behind you. This is the long overdue washing line area. Katie has reminded me about this probably about 20 times. Uh, Josh, when are you going to do the washing line area? Josh, when are we getting that blooming washing line area? Josh, the washing line. It's just taken ages. We've done a little timber bed and fence along the back just to kind of like separate our driveway with the neighbor's driveway and we're going to go washing line there. This same fence that you've got there will come in here, a gate will come in here, fence here, plants here with like some nice trees. When you look out this window you just see greenery. Got our protected chokra tree right there which is kind of why you know this area we're really working hard up to a number of boundaries that we can't change and do anything about and that's so that's one thing i've learned about landscaping is you've got to really like feel out what's happening on site and work with your restrictions and work around them rather than fighting them this is shock horror just pine decking but it's the back end of the house and we'll put a stain down that'll be perfect it'll be all we need sweet let's go and get some builders mix when do we want to sign some paperwork today well apparently it is really right here So I reckon we stop at the office, we'll check on the windows, make sure they're all good there because we've got to cut out the brick for them. Hopefully we don't have to do that right now. Then we'll hook up the trailer, go to Whakutiki, get the builders mix, go back to the section, make sure Ethan's all good and then we'll have a couple of hours to make phone calls. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Actually, I haven't talked to a friend about it now. Maybe we actually put a bit of, you know, like you'd, like you'd line around the um, garage door. Yeah, so yeah. We do that. Hey, Ben, good thanks yourself. <clears throat> he could kind of like 
uh, get, the, get the ball rolling. Yeah, so I wonder if you sound out Moore's Valley and say, hey, what, are you still good for that timing? Sorry, just a second. Hey, can I just get a half, uh, one scoop of builder's ribs, please? Time to go home and mix some concrete. Fun times. Anyway, that was my one minute, what do we call that? One minute driving with Josh. <laughs> New vlog segment. Cue the cheesy music. It's funny how at the start of the day I was like, right, I'm gonna do this, this and this. At nine o'clock, the whole plan goes to crap. Yeah, you kinda gotta be flexible. You can have a plan for the day, but you don't know why, like, what problems are gonna arise or what you're gonna need to do or how far people get through work or whatever. The plan has to be like loose, I found. Otherwise, if you get so bent out of shape that things aren't going exactly the way you planned they were, you kind of end up stressing yourself out unnecessarily. <laughs> Driving with charge. <laughs> yeah. So we're back and we're going to make our own concrete and you're probably thinking what the heck do you not know about concrete ready mix so obviously when we do a big job we get in the ready mix trucks no questions about it getting anything more than a cube it's way easier just to use the ready mix but what i've found and what works for me is that if we're doing small loads anything under three quarters of a cube or even a cube and we have to wheelbarrow it to the final location it's just as quick and just as easy there's no hassle about waiting for the concrete mixer most of the ready mixes in Wellington are uh, anywhere from a week to six weeks lead time and when you've got a little job and you're not sure exactly the day when it's going to be ready that's why I prefer to do my own mix. Down at the bottom of the section we've got the old beast, the big old traditional concrete mixer. Mm -hmm. This is when you'll need to put the camera down now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back a metre to the key points to that. <laughs> Concrete cleanup. So, um, time for the outro already. Uh, it's actually the day after, and we've been busy working instead of filming. Sam's even been out here digging and moving and mixing concrete. How'd it go, Sam? Uh, uh, so, the retaining wall's in, this, this level is all flat, and we're ready for a topsoil delivery tomorrow. And then we're going to get exceeded next week, and so we're literally like this close to having a lawn on the section nobody wanted. That mountain is a little bit flatter. I'll see you on next week's building vlog. Uh, and don't forget to click subscribe right there.